All right. Hello, welcome. We have a very confused gentleman here. Dragon and 1v5. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Here on. Oh, what map is this? Hmm. Hmm. What map could this be? It's Canyon, baby. That's right. Best map in the game. Nobody thinks that, by the way. We, uh. Well, we got a whole bunch of troglodytes, obviously. But more importantly, Dragon's not going to be stumping a bunch of blues, a bunch of incense and midshipmen like he usually does. You know, just bullying normal people like the absolute monster. We have some rather dangerous players here. Desert Sacker, Wallace, Deranged Octopus, Puppy from Hell, all great players. And Star Bomber, a pretty decent player too. Star Bomber is actually a good player. He just gets tilted kind of easily sometimes. And that's okay. It's a video game, baby. We get angry. We can see from the text that uh, these absolute chads brought the wrong fleets because they're all dumbasses, but I uh, have. Well, you know what they have. And they're fighting, anyways! Dragon over here got a pretty decent spread. OSP team, fairly concentrated around the midpoint. Oh my, what is this? So we're dropping down with the OSP team first. This dragon doesn't do this. He's got all his fleets out in little, little tiny pieces. Tug with a laser dazzler. And uh, Bastion, presumably Bastion. All right, oh God. Okay, 53. 250s, some jamming, some T20s, decent PD from them, not crazy PD. Bastions might not be that useful here since, oh god, I don't know, honestly. No, I, I gotta go through these fleets. Yeah, because these players are pretty good fucking good, but they all brought the wrong fleet, <laughs> apparently. Which is gonna kind of make things harder. Sixty sixes, Aurora's, Velos ones, Ridge Pull Life, Flow Lights. Mass driver, mass driver, mass driver. Oh my god, that's a lot of mass drivers. Amazing. Dragon always. It's a fair bet. Out of all the matches I've seen, I've only seen him lose once. So, uh, yeah. I am just not going through these. Star Bomber's got 450s. Employed Defense. It's 250. Is that an offensive? Yeah, that's got to be some offensives in there. But I'm like Gladius. No way. That's pure defensive type ones. 50s. Oh, he's the build out of Wallace. With, uh, oh no, this isn't the build, because these are casemate plasmas instead of turreted plasmas. Alright. Interesting. Casemates in T20s. Plasmas, Bellbird, VLS1, Bellbird, VLS1s, and Bastions. A lot of. This is a really well rounded team. I know they're pretty worried. Maybe? But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's take a look at Dragon. We got Fighting Axford, Fighting Axford, both well rounded PD. No missiles out of the OSP team? No, we answer them. Possibly offensive Mark 1s. Could be defensives. But I'm, I'm guessing offensives. Fighting X for fighting, uh, no, the other ship with an X in it. Voxel. Fighting Voxel. Fighting Voxel. Beam with PD. Beam with PD. Beam with PD. Fast beams, by the way. These are fast beams with PD. They get two engines. They got a whiplash and a dragonfly. 
Which means these things can get on top of you and kill you pretty dang fast. It's very surprising. E-War Reigns, E-War Reigns, E-War Reigns, E-War Sprinter, E-War Sprinter, Railgun and Missile? No, just Railgun. Destroyer, Railgun Destroyer with a couple Sarissas on them to deal with uh, containers and anything else. Those dirty OSPers would be up to. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Gun Scout, Gun Scout, Missile Scout, Missile Scout. These missiles are H2s. 16 of them a pop. Seem to do work with these. I have to be pretty particular on the target. So while we've been doing that, OSP team has moved out, captured Delta and Charlie. Dragons cap captured Echo and his capture ring. Bravo. Um, looks like both teams angling for Foxtrot. A cell and a tug coming up here, and two voxels, a destroyer, and axe for. Oh my, that's a pretty huge commitment up here to the top of the map. Bottom of the map's just getting capped by this one dumpy little cap ship while well, this whole tug swarm's going down to golf. I think this is gonna, well, this is, this is probably gonna die before it can cap, depending on if they have enough radar to see that. Y'all bring any radar? Yeah, Bridge Master. I could, I could just see, I mean, the player who made this said he made it while he was drunk and it was terrible, so I could see him just not putting radar on it because, you know. Yeah, I think that is gonna die. We're gonna turn these on. Puppy from hell, taking up positions, wow, all over the map. Not pushing his mass driver teams together, spreading them out so they can get different angles. Good man. That is the right way to do that. The sprinter getting locked up and torn to shreds by a 250 fire. The enemy is secure, so Actually fairly survivable because the, the 250 just keeps punching through like that. And so it's doing like no damage, but the sheer volume of it will eventually kill this, obviously. Is he actually gonna cap golf? Yeah, he capped it before he died. <laughs> Was not expecting that. I figured he'd get killed first, but I did not consider the punch through of those 250s. I don't think these have, I think these have a couple of T20s with them, but not many. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so actually plenty of T20s. And each, each one of those has two, so that's 12 T20s. Which ain't nothing to sneeze at, at least not against the Sprinter. Foxtrot getting captured, the team's getting RPF'd, and as these guys come over the ridge, these guys are gonna come over the ridge soon. Oh, not that guy. That guy, right here. Look at this, just flying upwards, ready to... So Sella's gonna come up here and be like, oh, it's just one Voxel, I can kill that, but he's in, uh, he's in a little bit of trouble. Hoping there will be another one after this where this team brings their uh, A fleet. Direct fire S2, so I was wrong. Yeah, this guy. Oh, yes, the missile solo, excellent. Well, this isn't a pure missile solo, but he does have enough. Yeah, some offensive S1s going out as well. Where at these over here? Or these may be defensive. Yeah, these are, so these are defensives actually, is what was happening here. I was dealing with this, and presumably other missiles fired from that ship. Vindicta taking quite a bit of damage. Good hits from the mass drivers as well as we saw the after smoke, after image of uh, missiles hitting it. So a lot of damage going down the field. And a whole lot more coming in. Oh man, Voxel getting broadsided in its keel by mass drivers, that is pain, especially since these are close enough to presumably get a lock with uh, the pinpoint it doesn't have, with the pinpoint it bullseye, that works. Locks a lock even if the dirty OSP has to cheat and use the A and S tech. Oh, this Ocello taking a great deal of fire for his troubles. The Balon shots aren't going to be doing that much, but this 250 in the broadside is going to be quite painful. Ooh, rail's going right down the middle of the ship. And it's also going to be quite painful. It's going to be able to capture Foxtrot, though. Right now... 
And with OSP capturing golf, they're going to be ahead on caps, which will kick them ahead on score as well. But those tugs are way far away from anything that matters. It's going to be a long time before these are contributing again. I don't know, maybe not. Tugs can be kind of fast. What kind of engines you got in there, Haas? Sundrive! Maniac. So I'm probably just going to flank them and have them come up here. Although, uh, they're like the top of the map. Yeah, because Alpha's pretty much open. I mean, this came up here and capped it. The cap came. Of course, the Sprinter's going to be eating a ton of plasma. Poor deer. You don't have enough armor. Look at that. It looks cool, though. Doesn't it? How roasted and baked this is. Just look at it. Just look at these people die. Anyways, the actual fight's happening up here, so I guess we should take it. A look at that. 450's on the nose. Angling's not going to be anywhere near as effective. Still effective, but not nearly as effective. And of course, this Ocello feeling the pain of missing a third gun. Able to get some damage on the target, for sure, but in a prolonged fight, you need that third gun. Especially against an Axford. Good damage, though. Out of those, that is too underslung. I think this thing, no, it's not an elf. I dragon has tons of restores. He always brings big packs of DC. The hell am I thinking? This is hella gonna die for its troubles. Which means this fleet can move in and cap Foxtrot. Slow part of the match. OSP is taking a position here in the middle. They can cap A and maybe exercise pressure on Echo, although there's nothing over there to pressure. I'm used to. gotten too used to the 10v10s. I think these guys are heading over there. I can't tell if they're heading over to Echo or if they're going over the top. Uh, probably Echo, because if they're going over the top, they like, swoop, go up here. Yeah, that's a good place for this to go. But again, Significant volume of firepower, just kind of out of the fight. This dragon's hard committing, hard committing to Foxtrot. He's got some stuff spread around over here. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about in the 10v10 cast, about this side of Canyon being really important to control. Because over here, you can observe... Let, let, let me do a little recap here. You can, you can control Delta, Echo, but through a weird, windy path either direction you go and exert pressure on alpha and gulf so it's two points and then two half points that you can you can sort of exert pressure on over here you can control bravo and charlie and it's a lot easier given the the weaving stuff through here the terrain as well as foxtrot just because of how these rocks are positioned and then put pressure on Alpha. And that's like, that. so that's that's three points controlled, and then a half point putting pressure on. That's, that's, that's so much more worth. And Dragon, I mean, that's exactly what he's done. He's taking a position over here. He's going to slowly push in, presumably on this side. Cap this eventually. Looks like the Molestus is sitting there right now and then crush this team right in the middle. Of course, it might not work out with the Master Ever spread around. He might do this flank or might just go over the top here and get bombed to smithereenies by the MDs spread around. Beam getting in. This Ocello just dead, dead. Some gunfire coming down here. Oh, no. It was just going into this tug right here is where it was going. Bit of Lyrebird action here, or uh, the other one, yeah, the interruption jammer. Lyrebird's the red jamming fields. So these definitely going to echo. Hard burn. Presumably. I'm not that familiar with tugs. I don't really use them. I don't know. I, th I think I think they're silly platforms. They're good, obviously. They're quite good. 
but I just think they're kind of dumb. Maybe that makes me a jerk, I don't care. Victus up here. Pushing forward. Problem with Puppy being spread out like he is. Well, I, I think he's too far away to get scanned. Yeah. That's what is it? What is that? Like, and then there's a slight incline there, so that's probably like 22, 23 kilometers. Nobody's seen that. Slowing down a little bit. We got a cap on Delta. There it is. Per Pernikiosa? Yeah, Pernikiosa. So Romans don't have uh, don't have soft seas. This is true nebulous gameplay. Just flying space. The enemy dagger. He's chilling here on Alpha, but they're in kind of a bad spot. They're in the open. Dragon just pops all these ships over different sides. They can get a decent crossfire and prevent the Ocellos. Uh, are there two Ocellos in here? Just one. Yeah, there are two. Ocellos from effectively bow tanking and absorbing the bulk of that damage. While also uh, probably being able to clean up the monitors pretty effectively. Although these monitors, yeah, that plasma, that's pretty dangerous. Or it can be, at least to the long term health of these things. Because if that plasma, even if this fleet dies, if the mo the main capitals get plasmaed, all their armor plasmaed off, then uh, 250 HE will just delete in, in seconds in seconds. I've seen it happen. An Axford, a Voxel, whatever. You can do it on Solomon's too. It just takes a little longer to uh, melt the armor. One reload will just... Boink! Gone. See you later. Coming down the backside, not wanting to expose any ships to fire, maybe trying to control this area. Because if this, if this beam, that's another thing. If you can get a couple beams, and the other beam is right here. Look at that. And the other beam is right here. No, that's an Axford. Fuck you, those, those icons are small. Leave me alone. Kind of vulgar, this match. I don't know why. I'm just, like, really excited. Really high strung. Because, uh... This is cool! Unfortunately, it's not as... Cool as it could have been, since the uh, Doomstack teamwork team didn't bring the right fleets. But we'll see how this goes. It's gone kind of okay thus far, I guess. But there hasn't really been that much fighting. There's been a lot of positional play, which is good and important to Nebulous. OSP staying up on caps and points, even with. Dragon rotating around the field and capping things left and right. That's something we saw in the past game. Well, I don't know what order this is going to get uploaded in. This Mazur was like, I want to see this. And, uh... I don't know. I guess I'm just enough of a sycophant to put this to the uh, front of the line. Instead of making people who are extremely excited to watch it uh, wait, a, you know, a month. Probably gonna have to replace the second upload that I usually do on uh, at 6 p.m. That's fine. I'm just yammering at this point. I really am. It's not good. We got. Yeah, it's just positional play. A lot of positional stuff with the scouts. Scouts not loitering on points, which is nice to see. And uh, the other match we saw today, the players using their cappers kept just capping a point and just sitting there. 
which obviously means that they'll get mopped up by whatever comes back. Uh, this sticking around, just one tug sticking around out of that fleet might not be a good idea. Because uh, that'll win. Well, no, it actually won't. That would win if this was just a naked sprinter flying around, capping things. It's got to mark two. Eh. I don't think two bastions are enough to deal with the hybrid. Might have grape shot loaded in these, but doubtful. Wouldn't help that much anyways. Well, the, the first question is, does this actually have any missiles left? It does not. Okay. That means that, yes, this deranged octopus will be able to slay Pernikiosa. Looks like the Bolter and Ocello team, Bulker and Ocello team, rotating back here onto Charlie. Not sure if they can sniff these beams coming down at him or what. Distinct possibility. Not. So here's something I just noticed. Look at the map. There's something very interesting happening on the map right now. There are no big blue lines anywhere. There's no AWR. There's no Bloodhound. Key tools in the OSP arsenal that we don't... Well, at least that I feel like I don't ever see a match without one of them in there are not here. They're just not here. Are they... Is he shooting his own ship? Did I see that correctly? Ah, no. That's real fire. That, I, look, I've seen it before, right? That's real fire coming down. It just looked like it was coming from this direction. I was like, eh? Surely they're not trolling that hard. And this thing walking just a little too far on its lonesome. Ooh, gonna get beamed. Well, beam's kind of extremely inaccurate. Ooh, still extremely inaccurate. The 450 coming in on the broadside, and the 250 coming in, I think, a little bit as well. And the rails, and now the beam's finally getting to target. Presumably gonna be battle shorted. Oh, yeah. Saw a little damage flash right there at the end of that. Sun drive cut out. React boosted reactor cut out. All that's left is one Raider drive in the rear, but it's going to be enough for this to leave. These might be coming in hot. I can't tell if these are trying to get out of here, break and turn, or if they're just rotating a little bit to get a good angle. Yeah, they got to be coming up here and rotating to get a good angle. Able to dip back behind cover for the most part, but goodness! That is a fair bit of damage upon that. Might be able to resurrect somewhat. It's got one restore, can rebuild the large rocker, and then can rebuild the sun drive. And one of the guns, presumably. Probably doesn't need the reactor as much now that a bunch of this stuff's down, especially with the one Aurora being down. Getting jammed, getting the pants jammed off of him. And there aren't really any offset scouts to help with this. No Bloodhounds or EWRs, as previously stated. There's nothing up here to give good aims, good tracks. And what's up there? So these are mostly blind. Well, it looks like, yeah, they're able to get a lock on the Axford. And it's not going to bother them that much. T-35 coming in. I want to see some plasma going out. Just absolutely melting the... <laughs> Or mass drivers, that works too! Look at that. The enemy is securing yeah, some maybe boxers. losing DC lockers is definitely a problem. Losing a magazine is an even bigger problem. Do you have two magazines on this? Uh, no. So if that magazine gets clipped off because this thing keeps getting kit in the keel, that would uh, be a big problem. Obviously, you can restore it, but that's still a good chunk of time just not in the fight. Not able to fire. Okay. Go away. And we got this Volker getting lasered down. This one beam DD doing a ton of work over here. Alright, during all of this is going on. Okay, this is finally over here. 
And these are going to be in a duel of the fates. It looks like this has already taken a few rounds, and this can just sit on this point and shoot at it and force it to go away since it doesn't have any munitions. This might be able to get on golf and cap it, but no, there's another loitering ship here. Where are... Okay, the Tug Swarm's coming. Tug Swarm's coming. While we did that, this died, unsurprisingly. Eating rail fire, eating gunfire, eating laser fire? Just laser? More lasers coming out. These beam DDs worth their weight in gold. It's gonna be very interesting to see this AAR. Whole slew of 250 fire coming into this guy. Is he locked? He's not locked. It's locked. What? Why is this locked? Oh, that's why it's locked. <laughs> very effective. Taking down the jammers. That's really good. I'd say there's nothing in range to shoot it, but uh, yeah, I, I, I forgot that there's just a, a menace. A literal dog from hell. A hellhound, if you will. Just ready to dump mass driver rounds into someone. This one chilling down here. Covering golf. Covering uh, to a lesser extent. Where is it? Char well, I guess not really covering Charlie, actually, in that position. Okay, this attack has been mostly deflected. This bulk are able to get out alive. And has enough DC to get back in good shape. It has enough, had enough DC to uh, not take that much damage from it. I mean, obviously this isn't great. With having plasmas on both sides, it's gonna dramatically increase the health of the vessel as opposed to having uh, casemates on one side. As I so often see, and I often, do I like the broads that are built. Just gotta bring an A game. These tugs, not entirely sure which way to go. I think. Okay, so they're gonna go down here and try to get the craziest flank ever on this team, but I'm kind of worried that it's gonna be too late. Just given the sheer firepower that's up here with two voxels, two beam DDs with guns on them. I think they have guns on them. No, okay, they're, they're pure PD in their other slots. And an Axford with 450s has the potential to just tear this team to shreds. While this group's trying to flank, although if it can get on the backside, it can force the beam destroyers into a bad angle and, uh, and, just, and just kill them by shooting them in the butt. These Acellos, speaking of trying to force a bad angle, are coming up here, but the beams have already turned around and already lasing them. And uh, this Acello that barely escaped by the skin, skin, skin of its teeth is uh, going to die here very shortly. <sighs> Actually, Dragon's gonna stop battle shorting and just turn me into a liar. Which is great, thanks. OSP able to take control of the Delta Echoes out of the map. Dragon just has no shape over here. With those loitering tugs doing doing some good work. Also got Golf. Alpha looks like a shuttle coming in here to cap Bravo while Dragon's distracted fighting this whole mess. So, well I think militarily Dragon's got it in the bag. The OSP is going to be able to win the cap game thanks to the uh, Tug Swarm out of Deranged Octopus who apparently made this uh, and is highly convinced this was a terrible fleet. I think this is actually the perfect fleet to bring to this situation. Foxtrot's still sort of open, but no real avenues to get on it. Tons of people are coming out from both sides. Jammer's going up, jammer's going down. Jammer's going all around. We got Illuminators coming out too to try to counter that jamming. It is not going to be enough. Across here, they're going to die to uh, crossfire. Interestingly enough. Yeah, I think you might need to go to dry dock there, Chief. 
I, what? We can't? We have to fight to the death? Okay. Well. <laughs> Sorry, Muriel. It is Smash Driver Team. I don't know how much damage this thing does. I really do. Because it has just been dumping rounds into people the whole match. We can actually see how many rounds you got, Chief. Yeah. 35% of its munitions expended. And uh, 163, so it had, what, like 250, 240, somewhere in there? Which means it's spent about 80 rounds, thereabouts, if my, if my quick maths are correct. Could be wrong. OSP team has not been completely dominating, but they certainly are now, at least on the cap game. I can I who put all these rocks on this map? Can we get these out of here? <laughs> Someone wanna take all the cover off the map? Getting bonked in the rear too. What kind of drives you got in these? Just a stock. Wow. A lot more mobile than I thought. Or than I would expect, rather. Just their ability to move around as well as orient. So I'm pretty sure this thing... Oh, no. The one down here is still down here. I was thinking that this one was the one that was down here, and I was like, how did you... How did you do that, actually? But he didn't. Simple answer. These beams... Ooh, beam guns pretty much spent. Could burn him out. Maybe try to bait out getting shot and then spin a restore. Bring him back. A little whole fire micro. Let's get nose to target. Bug blobs deciding better of the under ambush and deciding to go for a uh, whole ambush. Demari is getting completely bonked by the 250 fire and the MD fire. Libertas also in big trouble. Let's, let's go through these ships. We got the Invictus up here. Just taking some damage. Not horrible damage. The Libertas here who is about the same health value, but a lot of that damage is in the reactor block, which is a big problem. Big problem. Little known fact, you uh, can't do things in space if you don't have electricity. And uh, this is where all the electricity is located, right here. Obviously this has enough source to handle if something goes down over here, or if all of it goes down at the same time. But uh, that's still very painful, and gonna make that ship very vulnerable. Kinda like what's happening right here. Of course this is now out of restores. Which means it's gonna die a slow and painful death. Voxel over here trying to cap Bravo, but not really able to handle the uh, tug team, especially with all the damage that it took. I think this is the Voxel that got missiled up here earlier and kind of backed off to be more of a backliner since it had taken so very much damage. And it's now going to struggle a little bit to deal with this guy. The enemy secured zone box. Able can't be, though, because, uh, well, that thing's not going to be holding down any forts anytime soon. Put Dragon back in the game, but not in a good position. Might have... Where is this going? Yeah, so this is going down to golf. Might have a ship going down to golf. That's correct. This could go down to golf. Cap it. Kill that. Rotate up to Echo. Cap it. Kill that. Rotate over to Delta. Kill it. Cap that. I think I got those backwards a couple times. That's fine, too. Although, I don't, I don't think he's got enough time just straight up does not have enough time to do all that. That's, you know, tour day canyon, as it were. And even in a flanking voxel, which is going, what, like 50? 43, that's painful. You don't have, you do have a whiplash in here. Do I put two whiplashes on my voxel? I must. Which might be crazy. Beam's going into this Ocello, kicking it off the point, or there, well, there is no point, kicking it off this area that it's been fighting in for a really long time. I 
Mass driver fire. Looks like the lower mass driver's finally gotten set up to get a crossfire. Tons of damage going into these beams. Nose gun killed, but it's going to be... Not getting restored. This one also in a pretty bad way. Beam not being prioritized. Which could mean these beams are out of it. Dragon might be recognizing that the game is coming to a close. Even though he's... You know, he's close enough, but not close enough. If you know what I mean. These plasma bulkers have been not doing what I was expecting them to do, which is suiciding themselves to just plasma the hell out of everything and then letting the tug swarm keem up. They've been doing this weird cat and mouse game over here, and it's actually, I think, been pretty effective at keeping uh, the bulk of Dragon's Force just stuck up here as they kind of fight, but... But don't fight too hard because you don't want to be over aggressive. Because if you're over aggressive, you die. But you gotta fight some because if you're too passive and you just leave, you also die. Because that is the nature of a strategy game. Blazer coming in. Tristus. Oh, and this is a fresh beam BB. DD. Those are two letters that are the exact same. The reason we use the nano alphabet. Phonetic alphabet. NATO alphabet's full name of that. The key part is the phonetic part. Yeah, and Dragon just kind of stuck up here. He did that hard commit onto Foxtrot, which paid off pretty well in the short run. And he came down here and he just got bogged down in this Foxtrot Charlie Alpha area. With all the, all the bulkers and the... Well, not the tugs. I mean, the tugs got here eventually. But the bulkers and the Ocello is just kind of playing, playing cat and mouse. All the meanwhile, these bulkers, these mass driver bulkers just laying in to the back line. And uh, the tug swarm run around and capping. And leaving leaving little loiters on points to maintain cap. This box will be able to clean this up. And is getting out of golf. But I, it's over. Yeah, it, it's just over. You can't eat 300 points behind. That's a ball game, baby. Come on, I don't want to see you laser a bunch of guys. Well, no, that's not going to happen. This thing's dead. Looks like he was able to finish this off. One of these wasn't dead. I think it was, I think it was a bulker. I think it was a bulker that wasn't dead. And he came over here and just... It might have been both. I think it was just a bulker. Because this has been dead for a little bit. It's got oil out. It's not potting. Because presumably it's already potted. And maybe... Those are the pods. Or maybe they're somewhere else. And this is all... And this is immediately potting. Which means it just died. Currently potting. Is the correct word for that. good game easily 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 the best 1vx i've seen dragon play and he lost too the enemy secured zone coming all right we gotta go through the winning team first oh nice and we don't have a time limit so we can spend uh, the next 30 40 minutes here so you know enjoy that dear viewer we're gonna go through every single bullet fired all right, now that everybody's left the video, uh, we got the Tug Swarm here. <laughs> With, uh, let's, let's math this out. We got 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 16, 17, 18, plus some sluice from the carryovers. So let's call it about 20k damage out of the... What? What? Hello? Yeah, it's probably closer to 19, but still, that's a lot of damage out of this Tug Swarm. I was not expecting it. I really wasn't. With how much time they spent just driving around the other side of the map and capping points, and I mean, admittedly, they did shoot a lot of sprinters, but sprinters don't exactly have that much HP. So I guess they just, when they came in, they really came in, eh? To the main fight. <whistles> this poor boy. So we know which Acello made it up to the top of Foxtrot and capped Foxtrot and then got 
completely annihilated. It's this one. Yeah. See, this worked pretty well. Just on the on the cap game, because ultimately, point to all that matters, Oz. That's it. That's all. That's the game. Okay, this is a pretty uh, pretty good for a single solo. Thirty K of the Master Drivers. MVP. You'll love to see it. I don't know why I keep seeing games with people with no damage on their mass drivers and complaining that they're garbage. And then other games I see people complaining that mass drivers are completely broken and shouldn't be in the game at all. Star Bomber got uh, kind of schwacked, eh? He, he might have also... Maybe Star Bomber went on top at Foxtrot. Yeah, because this... Okay, so this is 9 minutes 46 seconds. It's a, yeah, that's right at the end. So this was killed right at the end. It just didn't do that much because it was too busy playing Cat and Mouse. And this team got wasted right at the start of the game. And Walls here also not doing that much with his team, but pretty pretty, pretty valuable for the cat and mouse, I think. Yeah, that see, that's what I want to know. How much better would this have gone for them if I brought the right fleets? All right, Dragon, Beam DDs, of course, doing crazy amount. It's another one, just just murder, just complete, absolute murder. And another one that didn't do that much, oh, that's because it was a railgun. So just generally being a menace and suppressing people. It's the value of those, strategically speaking, anyways. Wow, Invictus not doing that much damage. It just took so much in the face. Plasma, Hunter Mill and 250 and mass drivers this thing got bullied up one side and down the other so did the libertas but to a lesser degree this is more mass drivers with how the positioning on this because this was facing forward towards the enemy most of the time so those mass drivers that were behind and in weird angles could have could get the uh the the booty shots as it were yeah and a lot of well he didn't need the hangups because there were no off-angle scouts, funnily enough. So you could just saturate the area in blanket fire and, oops, you can't see anything. Because you don't have any off-angle scouts with bloodhounds. Whoopsie doodle. That happens. It's pretty funny, though. I mean, it went pretty well, considering that they brought the wrong fleets. Good damage out of this. I guess you got some missile lands yeah, that I didn't see. Yeah, nothing doing particularly amazing. I mean, the Beam DD is doing the majority of the hauling, uh, with the Voxels adding quite a bit too, but Axe is doing significantly less than I was expecting. Uh, I'm going to sit in here for a little bit longer to record the chat between the players. This is hosted, I guess, set up through the main developer Discord, which you can find in the bottom right-hand corner of your main menu in Nebula's Fleet Command. Yeah, see, th th this, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, nice. I'm glad I'm not the only one who does this. Okay, lobby appears to be breaking up. Chance cooling down. <sighs> good game, good game. Yeah, anyways. Boink. This button right here. Say you get to the dev discord, drag on a post up in there and be like, hey, come beat the hell out of me in a 1v5. And of course, a bunch of midshipmen will show up and he'll clobber him because he's just a big, mean bully. Nah, he's a real cool guy. And it was cool to see these. Uh, sometimes the dumpy players show up, sometimes the incredibly good players show up, and there seems to be no in-between. So, hmm. I hope you enjoyed that. 
dear viewer. I will see you in the battle space. <laughs>